Hello, this is Nick with nickscomputerfix.com and here's a video on Windows 10 Creators Update Best New Features for 2017. Okay, to start with, let's talk about a new feature that was placed in Microsoft Edge from the Windows 10's Creator Update and that's called the New Tab Tool. Let's go ahead and open up a browser and as you can see, I previously opened up four tabs within the Microsoft Edge and you can view them um, just like I am there one by one or click on this new tool which is called the show tab previews and that allows you to see all your tabs that you have open simultaneously and when you do have them in this preview you can go ahead and click on any of them um, and use that tab if you like and then you can click again here to close them and also you're able to save your tabs to use um, later on if you like okay up next a new app called paint 3d has been added through the update and you get to it through the start menu and then you go ahead and scroll down and it's under letter p and there it is print uh, or paint 3d and uh, once you open it up it's very clean looking um, you get the um, welcome screen here um, new open and paste um, on the left side and then on the right side you get uh, put a sticker on it and you can you know start your journey um, and get started here and certainly learn how to use that now, um, I have not used this um, extensively yet, but um, the little bit that I have, it seems to um, be really a nice app to use in a crunch um, for, you know, um, rather you're an amateur, rookie, or a um, pro. Um, certainly, you can uh, make use of this Paint 3D app um, from time to time and it's free all right um in a future video i may go through some additional features for this app okay up next they added um on this windows 10 update a feature called nightlight and um, what it is all about is that uh, some scientific studies have indicated that the blue light that uh, display screens give out have a tendency to keep uh, some people awake at night. So you can go down to the Action Center and then click on Night Light and this will reduce the amount of blue light that is being given out on your display screen and uh, who knows it might help you sleep better. Okay, and then to turn it off, you click on it again. Okay, up next is an awesome new feature within Windows 10 called Game Mode. And you get to that through your settings. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go down to the Start menu here and click and use the side column and click on Settings, which opens up Windows Settings. Now, as you can see right off the bat, there are 11 options versus 9 that was in previous Windows 10 and one of the new options is gaming. So let's go ahead and click on that and that opens up a settings window where you can adjust multiple things to dedicate resources to your um, gaming experience and uh, by default you can see that it is enabled so um, you can go ahead and make adjustments to it if you like and one of the neat little things I want to point out is game DVR which is now allows you to um, capture your awesome gaming moments in your gameplay and uh, this is really cool because you don't need a third-party app to record your gaming plays and uh, moments that you think are fantastic that you would like to share with other people. I'm definitely hopeful that this will improve my gaming um, experience and yours as well. Okay, um, let's go ahead and move on. Okay, up next is the dynamic mode and we're going to talk about this feature now. 
and we can get to this new feature within Windows 10 by going to um, our settings window. Let's go down to the Action Center and go up and click on All Settings. And once the window is open here, we can go ahead and click on Accounts. And that will open up the Account Settings window. And then on the left-hand side, we want to go ahead and click on Sign In um, Accounts. And, or options rather and on the right hand side let's scroll down and you can see that dynamic lock has been added and this new feature um, basically Windows can use devices that are paired to your PC to know when you're away for instance uh, your smartphone so if you um, allow Windows to detect when you're away and automatically lock the device once your smartphone is paired uh, with your uh, laptop. So the, for uh, as an example, um, you walk away and it automatically will lock your Windows. And of course your devices are paired via Bluetooth. Okay, up next, Windows 10's update um, completely changed the ground rules for themes. And of course, we get to it um, through Windows settings and clicking on personalization. And then going over and clicking on themes on the left-hand side here. And as you can see, you are able to now change the background color, sounds, and mouse cursor. And themes in the Windows Store has been uh, completely revamped and expanded and multitude of new themes have been added and allows you to change that uh, and customize it within your Windows 10's environment. Okay, up next is the control panel. It seems that uh, Microsoft wants you to move away from your control panel um, settings or apps. Um, they have completely removed it out of the start menu down here, the hidden menu that is. When you right click, you no longer see control panel as an option. Um, the way you go about getting to it now is you can go ahead and type on the search line here control panel and that comes up up top as a listing click on that and that will open up your control panel now the reason I wanted to point this out is because within the control panel there is no longer um, Windows Defender and that is completely missing and uh, let's go ahead and close that out and talking about Windows Defender. The way you get to Windows Defender now is the start menu and then you scroll down the uh, menu here and go ahead and click on uh, Windows Defender and uh, that will open up a brand new redone Windows Defender's um, GUI interface for you and there's all types of options and settings that you now have access to and you can customize this to your liking and uh, let me point out one that uh, a lot of families will like and that is the family options and when you click on it um, this screen comes up get what you need to simplify your family's digital life and basically it allows you to uh, make adjustments on this computer within this app to help protect your kids online and uh, do some other things that protects your family. Alright, um, one last thing after I close this out. Um, Windows Defender still continues to do a very good job at protecting you from viruses and malware. Okay, we've come to the end of this video. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like.